Hey guys, welcome back to The Nerdy Collector and today I'm doing my haul video from London Comic Con in May of 2018. Now guys, I hit the mother load and brought so much stuff at this con and there's so much things for me to get through so I'm going to waste no time and get straight into it. Brought a few action figures so I'm going to get them out of the way first. So first of all, over to our friends in Demand Toys, at In Demand Toys. I got this as well. My dad recently came back from the US, so I thought I'd just show this off in this video. And he picked me up this black suited Marvel Legends Spider-Man from the Sandman Builder Figure Wave. This is an awesome figure. I missed it when it first came out, so I'm really glad I got that now. So thank you, Dad. And then, guys, I picked up two Star Wars Black Series at Comic-Con. I got this for £20. This um, old man Lando Carizian, the original Lando, not the new one from the Solo film, which I would have liked to pick up, but they wanted 22 quid for it, and I've seen it for 15 online, so... I've wanted this for a while, I've always passed on it, but I finally took the bullet today and brought it, but the bullet today and brought him for £20. Hopefully it's a nice figure. And then guys, Black Series wise, I picked up this Grand Moff Tarkin. Now I've been after this for a while, this is a great figure. For £22, I couldn't leave off on it. I'm so glad to pick him up. He is quite hard to find, I mean I've looked everywhere for him, even online he's all sold out, just down for pre-orders. So I'm glad I waited and I picked him up from the con great figure. And last but not least, action figure wise, is something I paid a little bit much, too much for, in my opinion. It was £34, but it is this Demi-Gorgon from Stranger Things. Sorry about the lighting there, I'll hold it back a bit. And as you can see that there, that is a quite a big 10 inch scale figure there. But as you'd know if you've been uh, tuning for, I have reviews of this uh, Eleven and the Hopper up on this channel with Lucas and Dustin to follow, as well as this Stranger Things Demi-Gorgon. I really like this. I got it from In Demand Toys. Thanks for hooking me up with this, guys. You're the only guys I saw have it at the convention. And there was one so I'm really glad I managed to snag that. So thank you very much guys. That is an awesome figure and I cannot wait to take that out of box and review it. Right now we have got through the action figures. It's now time for the pops. Like I mentioned before, my dad went to America and he picked me up that um, Spider-Man. He also picked me up two pops. So I'm going to show you those now. He managed to pick me up from Stranger Things, Bob in Scrubs, which is such an awesome looking pop. Um, it's from the new Stranger Things wise. It did get a little bit of a dent on the box there, but I had to spray Stranger Things stuff out of box. So that's not too, not, not too bothering me too much. But he managed to get that out there in Florida and I'm really grateful for that. So I thought I'd show you guys off the Bob and Scrubs. Then he also picked me up Vampire Bob, the GameStop exclusive, which is absolutely brilliant. And I was hoping it didn't suck, and it doesn't. And um, it's a really great pop, and it's got something on it there. But yeah, guys, I'm really pleased with that. So thank you, Dad, for those. All right, guys, now on to the stuff I picked up at the con. Let's waste no time. First thing I picked up, guys, is this um, exclusive Glow in the Dark Killmonger. From, they sell this at Smith's Toy Store, but I managed to get it at the con, just for £9. So I was really pleased with that. I've been after that for a while. It's so hard to hold. If I hold on this side, that'd be bad. It's, it, I've been after it for a while, and it's such a nice looking, cool looking pop. And I'm really glad I managed to pick this up for my collection. So that is pop number one. I got some Walking Dead pops as well, and I managed to pick up this Sasha for £5, which was a really good deal. I'm really, really pleased with this. Uh, Sasha's not one of my favourite characters, but definitely for a fiver, for a Walking Dead pop, I'm not going to leave it behind. So pop number two from the convention. Sticking with the Walking Dead thing, guys. I picked up this Richard Pop as well from Comic Con, so that was really cool um, pop. I did actually pick up two of these Richard Pops. One of these I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon. I'll be giving away this Richard Funker Pop for someone that people that follow me and like my Facebook page. I've just created a new Facebook page, guys. Links in the description below. So if you follow me and subscribe to this channel, very soon there'll be a video up about this competition, and you'll be able to win yourself a Walking Dead Richard Pop if you're interested. Get over to my Facebook and like it. So that's pop pop number three. Now pop number four, I went over to um, Place in Space, the store I go to in Croydon all the time. They had a stall there this week at the Comic Con. And um, I managed to pick up this Herschel Green Pop. Now I like to display my Walking Dead Pops out of the box. I had one of these left and it is a bit battered at the side here, look, as you can see. So I said to him, and he said to me, as you come into the shop all the time and you're a loyal customer, five pounds. So five pounds for Herschel. I'm all over that because Herschel was one of my favourite characters and I think the pop looks great. I'm definitely going to have him out of box in my Walking Dead collection. Right guys, Forbidden Planet, we're doing two pops um, for £10 on certain figures. They're probably just one of the stock clear. So I jumped on that considering they had two pops there I hadn't got in this certain series. And now I do collect Doctor Who pops and they had this Rose Tyler pop there for, what, £5? So I bagged that. So I got a great bargain and a great deal on this Rose Tyler. It's, it's one I haven't pulled the trigger on with the Doctor Who set because I was waiting to find it for a good deal and I'm really glad I managed to find that for £5. So it was two for ten, like I mentioned, and I also picked up this... Um, oh, 
It was two for 10, like I mentioned, and I also picked up this Doctor, um, the 11th Doctor, Mr. Clever. That's a really cool variant pop there of the Doctor, of Matt Smith's Doctor, Mr. Clever. So I'm glad I picked those up. So those two combined were 10 pounds, which was really cool for me, a really good price. Thank you for being in planning. But they're pop five and six. Right, pop number seven is something I've been after for a long time, and I got it at a great price. It is a Scrooge McDuck. It is the 2017 Fall Conventions exclusive. Scrooge jumping out of a big pile of gold coins it's something i've wanted for a while actually i um i managed to get it for 10 pounds and for an exclusive that's not bad so i'm really pleased i picked this up and um that's pop number seven also from the same store as i brought um scrooge mcduck was this they had the arna mormont the 2017 force convention exclusive game of thrones pop now i normally um that this was a really good deal for 10 pounds place in space do have this in their store but they sell it for 30 and i've always wanted it and i thought i'm not spending 30 on it so today i found it and i said to the lady how much is that and she went oh give me 10 pound uh, 20 pound for the two pops this and the scrooge mcduck so i thought yes i'll be having that so i'm really glad i picked this up this is a pop i've really been sorting after both of them are actually i've really wanted them for a while and i'm glad i've managed to bargain i'm glad i managed to bag them both today pop number nine guys is the mcm london comic-con limited edition alien rick now i know this is out in america and i think it's an exclusive there but we don't have that here in the uk i'm gutted we didn't get alien multi but that's probably going to be next time but hopefully that gets released generally but it's got the nice brand new i don't know if you can make that out if the camera's going to focus in on that the nice brand new MCM London Comic Con stickers. That's a first. Normally we just get those sparkly exclusive stickers. But this is really nice. So I picked this up for £15 from the Funko booth. And I'm really happy with this uh, purchase with pop number 9. Now pop number 10 is another MCM London Comic Con exclusive. It is the Flock Chewbacca from Solo. After the hype of coming out of seeing Solo the other night. And it was a lot better than I expected. I really had to pick up this pop. I love Chewbacca anyway. And I have, and I have the last Jedi Flocked version. So I'm really glad I managed to get the MCM Comic Con exclusive version of Chewbacca from Solo. So that is pop number 10. Now pop number 11, I picked up two of them and um, this is probably the pop I was the most sorted after. I really wanted this the most. When I went into the Funko booth, they didn't have any and I was so disappointed but then a lady bought a big bag of them out from the back. It was the London Comic Con MCM exclusive Yon New the Mary Poppins one. Now I know this was a Target exclusive in the US, but we could not get it here in the UK. Now I've got my hands on it. It's my first Yon New pop of all because the first one from the first Gardens of Galaxy is so hard to find. I actually picked up two of these pops, one for Danny and Jazz, their channel's linked below. They've got a great channel. They're really, really good guys and they love pops as well, just as much as I do. So I managed to pick up one for them as well. So Danny and Jazz, I'm gonna be sending that up your way very soon. But yeah, this was a great pop and this to me was the grail of the whole trip i'm glad i managed to pick this up and it's going to make a fine addition to my collection especially with that nice new sticker on it now guys what would going to comic-con be about picking up a chase i saw loads of chases today hellboy chases i really wanted that 40 quid not paying it so many good chases that i've been after for such a long time but they want ridiculous money for so i go to forbidden planet and looking around their stall and i see this grinch chase now it takes my eye i like the grinch i love christmas i thought to myself I wonder how much that is. I asked the lady, she said £10. I said, yes, I'll take that right now. Thank you very much. And it's in a pop protector, which is £1.50 alone. So I've got a really great deal on this Grinch. £10 for a Grinch chase at Comic-Con. I, I can't complain at all. I'm so happy about this. Like a kid at Christmas. That was the worst joke ever, I apologise. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm really glad I got this. And it's a lovely pop in a protector. Now guys, like I said, what would it be about going and getting a chase? And I've gone and landed myself one more chase. My last pop of this whole haul, and the last pop I bought at Comic-Con was next to that Grinch pop. It was £20, I did pay a bit more for it, but it is the Powerpuff Girls Glow in the Dark Chase Him in a pop protector. Now when I saw this I thought I had to have it. I really really like this character and I liked the Powerpuff Girls when I was younger and I really, I'm not ashamed to say that. I would still probably watch it now, but I like the pop. I do want the Mojo Jojo, I've seen it so many times and I will get it in the end. But I saw this and I thought, you know what? Last purchase of the day, last bit of cash I had on me. I'm gonna blow it all on two chases. So I got the Grinch and I got this, was the two chases they had. They did have like a Porg and um, Terence and Philip, but they wanted 20 quid each and I weren't paying for those. But I'll pay that for this in a pop protector and a Grinch. So I done really, really well. So pops tw So these are pops 12s and 13, two chases really great additions to my collection and um, and yeah so guys what do you think of the stuff i picked up i went mad today and i spent a lot of money that i probably shouldn't have but it's only 
what, twice a year? So I'm gonna let myself off, you know? So I'm really pleased with everything I picked up. Thank you for everyone that's watched my Comic-Con video. Like I said, I'm sorry that it's not the best, but it was so busy and it was so hard to film. It really was. You wouldn't understand unless you were there. If you were there, I know some people would have been able to film, but I just couldn't do it. I was getting too annoyed at people and that's not good. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching that. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Hit that like button. Drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the things I picked up at Comic-Con. I am so pleased with the things I got. I think I did really, really well. And I'm so glad I managed to get them all for some of them for such a steal as well, such a great price. So uh, like this video, guys, hit that thumbs up. I've already said that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well, guys, for more videos coming your way from me on this channel. Hit that notification bell. I'd really appreciate it. It really does help my channel when you do that. And um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook in the links in the description below. Like I said, I'll be doing a giveaway with that Richard Walking Dead pop for my Facebook page likers. People that like my Facebook page, that makes more sense. So hit that like button on my Facebook page. Drop me a message on there, say it like just anything, anything on there just so I know that you like me on Facebook and you subscribe to my channel. And if you do, oh, one of my lucky likers, that win the Richard Pop, that'd be great. So guys, thanks for that. And um, yeah, check out my other videos guys and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.